Are you thinking about buying a home in Ottawa? A city that often gets dismissed as being a boring and sleepy government town. It's quickly become a highly desirable place for families to grow and call home. Hey everyone, it's Curtis Arnasi with Royal LePage Team Realty. In today's video, I'm going to discuss the top five neighborhoods that you should consider living in if you're looking to purchase in Ottawa. Number one, Barhaven. Located in the southwest of Ottawa, Barhaven is a 20 to 25 minute drive from the city's downtown core. Its development began in the 1960s and it's now one of the fastest growing areas of the city with many additional developments taking shape. It's a true suburban neighborhood that is located close to pretty much everything you need. There are several areas of Barhaven, including the original old Barhaven to the west, Longfields and Chapman Mills towards the center, and Stonebridge to the south. You'll find a lot of residential homes and a fewer number of condos. Row townhomes and single family dwellings make up the majority of the real estate in the area. A vast number of schools and parks as well and a relatively low crime rate make it a top choice for families to grow. There are plenty of retail stores and restaurants in the area but you won't find the vibrant culinary scene that you would see in the areas closer to the downtown core. The city of Ottawa has future plans to bring the light rail rapid transit system into the area as well. You can't go wrong with living in Barhaven. Community 2, Canada. Canada is located in the city's west end, about 20 to 25 minutes from the downtown core. It has suburban feel that's similar to that of Barhaven, except it's bigger in size and has a larger population. Much like Barhaven, Canada is a suburb with huge communities that are ideal for families. There are a ton of residential homes and less of a condo presence in the area. Canada differs from Barhaven in fact that it's home to the massive technology park. It's actually Canada's largest. With over 500 companies and around 24,000 employees, some of the brightest minds live and work here. The area is also home to some of the largest playgrounds, parks, and green spaces in the Ottawa area, making it a highly desirable place for kids to be. There are a lot of schools, including private options, as well as numerous athletic facilities. Canada has numerous neighborhoods, including Bridalwood to the south, Glencairn, Katimovic, Canada Lakes, Beaverbrook, and Morgan's Grant and that's towards the north end of the community. There are huge shopping and dining developments nearby as well, including the Canada Entertainment Centrum and Tanger Outlets. Canada has a more significant restaurant scene than the one in Barhaven, and the NHL's Ottawa Senators also play their games here, and there are plans to build a new arena in the downtown area within the next few years. If you're thinking about a home in Canada or Barhaven, both are options that have a lot to offer. Number three, Westboro. Located just 10 minutes from downtown Ottawa, is the vibrant community of Westboro. Its development took place in the early 1940s and its close proximity to the Ottawa River makes for some of the more expensive real estate in the city. Population wise, it's more than five times smaller than Barhaven and it has a much different feel as well. Some would describe it as more of a village as many properties are within walking distance to nearby stores and amenities. Some homes in Westboro are large and luxurious and located on big lots that make for a higher selling price than some of the other communities in the city. The area also differs in that it has much more significant condominium presence. This makes it a great spot for those who work or go to school downtown but don't want to live right in the core. The restaurant scene in Westboro features some of the nicest cuisine in the city of Ottawa. There are numerous specialty restaurants unlike the ones that you would find in the suburbs. It's an incredible place to be if you enjoy fine dining and date nights. Richmond Road which is the main street running through Westboro, offers plenty of boutique shopping options, as well as an athletic and sporting goods scene. In the summer, Westboro residents, along with fellow Ottawa residents, can enjoy a Sunday bike along the Ottawa River Parkway when it's closed to vehicles. The Westboro Beach and the Farmer's Market are also popular within the community. Area number four, downtown Ottawa and center town. At the heart of Ottawa is the city's downtown core. Like in most cities, it's where much of the action is when it comes to seeing Ottawa's most popular attractions. You'll find the vast majority of the region's government buildings and the main financial district here. Young professionals who work in the area find it very appealing as a place to live. In the communities nearby, such as the Glebe, Little Italy, the Golden Triangle, and La Breton Flats, there are a good mix of residential homes as well as condominium properties available to purchase or rent. The city's downtown core is also home to the Byward Market which features numerous restaurants, bars, and nightclubs. In total, there are over 600 businesses. As Ottawa's number one tourist destination, it's always a busy spot, especially on weekends. Popular sites such as the Parliament of Canada, the Canadian War Museum, the National Arts Gallery, they're all located here. 
Downtown is also home to the Rideau Centre, one of Ottawa's largest indoor shopping malls, as well as the University of Ottawa, one of the city's three main post-secondary institutions. The area is home to a lot of students who reside in the nearby communities. Downtown Ottawa is also just minutes away from Gatineau, Quebec on the other side of the river. Community 5, Orleans. Located about 20 minutes east of the city's downtown core is Orleans. With a large French-speaking population, schools in the area place a heavy emphasis on bilingualism. It's making it a great place for kids to grow up and learn both official languages of Canada. Much like in Barhaven in Canada, Orleans is an ideal location to raise a family thanks to the vast amount of parks, playgrounds, and community centers. It's growing much like some of Ottawa's other suburbs. There are older, more mature communities, as well as numerous new developments taking shape. The city has planned a 12-kilometer LRT expansion project, which will provide light rail service from Blair Road through the Orleans area. A short drive away is Saint Boulevard, where you'll find numerous activities that families can enjoy, including museums and play centers. One of the most unique things to see in Orleans is Petri Island. The area offers hiking trails, beaches, and is nestled among the wetlands. There are also canoe and kayak rentals, as well as volleyball courts, making it a cool spot to spend summer afternoons. Nearby Place Orleans and Ottawa Train Yards offers about 230 retail stores. Much like other communities I've discussed in this video, Orleans is a great place to call home. The city of Ottawa is a great place to live, work, and play. It often gets disregarded as a boring place, but that has been changing recently. Today we've talked about five of the best places to live in our city, but there are many more as well. If you have questions about living in Ottawa or thinking about buying and selling, please don't hesitate to get in touch and visit my website, cernorealty.com. My contact information is listed in the description of this video. Thanks for watching.